How to Knit a Fidget Spinner. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. The kids in my life have challenged me to knit a fidget spinner, <laughs> so let's give it a go. To begin, we start with just regular fidget spinners. Any kind, any shape will do. You can totally modify it. And then we are going to be using a glue gun in order to glue down our knitted work. Of course, lots of cute little yarn, any colors you'd like. And if you think knitting up a fidget spinner is a good idea, do me a favor, hit like, it really helps me out. Okay, now our materials, we are doing i cords. You can knit them with double pointed needles. There's a second choice, you can use the embellish knit. The third way is to use a spool loom, and I have links on how to knit up your i cords down below. So to begin, we are going to knit one only two inches in length. And I actually knitted mine with four needles. And then we're using our tapestry needle. And you don't even have to bind off. You can just sort of tack through right there. And then we are going to make it into a little circle. And we'll just tack the ends together right here to make a cute little circle. Go ahead and cut off your yarn tail. You also can um, tie the two yarn tails together if you'd like to make it more secure. And so this little knitted circle is going to fit perfectly right here. Now, is there a technical term for the area right here on the fidget spinner? If so, let me know in the comments below. Now to knit the outside, go ahead and measure your fidget spinner. You might have a different shape or size than me. And mine is measuring here 10 inches. So I'm going to knit up an I-cord 10 inches in length. And we're gonna do the exact same thing with our tapestry needle, just tack the ends together and then make it into a circle. And I am also going to weave in my ends and then to make it extra secure, I'm gonna go ahead and tie my two yarn tails together. Go ahead and cut it off. Once we have three of those little guys there and the outside knitted up, it is time to get gluing. So with your glue gun, be careful, it can be hot. Just go ahead and add your glue to the areas where you'd like to place your knitted pieces. I think they look like lifesavers, sort of. <laughs> and we could stop right there. It looks pretty cool and definitely very colorful when we give it a spin. Let's keep going and we're going to now get our glue gun and just tack that exterior on to our fidget spinner. Okay, it is looking super cute. Let's give it a whirl. And oh, it's even more colorful now. I have an idea for the button. Let's knit just about one and a half inches of I-cord and just add some glue, roll it up, place it right in there. And you'll wanna make sure that you don't let the glue get into the edges, into the sides there, um, because then your fidget spinner will not spin. I learned that the hard way. Oh, and it is beautiful. Here we are with our knitted fidget spinner. I will tell you that the yarn and the glue do weigh it down. So in order to keep your fidget spinner spinning, I am only adding it to one side. If you'd like, you can go ahead and add it to the back side once you're finished with the first and I hope you are inspired to knit up some fidget spinners yourself. If you have any other knitting ideas for how to embellish your fidget spinner, let me know in the comments below. And please make sure to subscribe to Studio Knit. I have lots of really cute summer knit projects, colorful quick knits, just like this one. Check it out. <laughs> Bye!